Hi guys, welcome to Chikri Science Academy. In today's session, I have come up with how to identify aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compounds. Remember, one question is sure shot going to be there in your NEET examination, CET examination or BITSAT examination or any other entrance examination which you are writing for medical or engineering. So, you can guarantee a sure shot one question from this topic. Stay till the end. The class is going to be interesting and I am going to give you a very simple and easy concepts and I'm very sure after the end of the video, you will be able to solve such questions. So now, first of all, let's understand the difference. So there is a major difference between aromatic and anti-aromatic. However, there are some similarities also. So as per the Huckel's rule, what is there? First of all, aromatic or anti-aromatic, they both are cyclic. They both should have complete conjugation. Complete conjugation means in the ring, there should be a complete resonance students who find resonance difficult you will find the link for my resonance video in the description box below make sure if you are not very clear on resonance you go through it i'm very sure after that when you come back here you'll find it easier now next you can see each carbon should be in sp2 hybridization means it should be planar however you don't have to check on this condition you can assume it is by default there fourth point is the difference as per the huckel's rule and what is that the number of pi electrons should be 4n plus 2. It means if I put the value of n as a 0, so 4 into 0 is 0 plus 2. So it's 2. If I put the n value as 1, so 4 into 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6 and so on. But for anti-aromatic, it should be pi electron, the number of pi electron should be just 4n. So just like how we check the leap year, which is divisible by 4, same thing you have to do. You have to check the pi electron should be in a multiple of 4, like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. Remember, anti-aromatic compounds are most unstable compounds and that is why they are hypothetical. They don't exist in real. But aromatic compounds are the most stable compounds and non-aromatic is such that one who are not fulfilling the criteria of aromatic, they are also not fulfilling the criteria of anti-aromatic. Those compounds, they, all the other compounds are non-aromatic and they are somewhere intermediate. So the most stable is the aromatic, then non-aromatic and then you have anti-aromatic. So now let's see some examples. So in the first example, you can see we have taken phenol. Now how to check the condition? So first of all, it is cyclic. So cyclic is there there is a uh, you know you can see there's a very good conjugation is there we know phenol show you know plus m effect the lone pair is directed inside the ring you can see pi sigma lone pair so there is a conjugation and rest all conjugation goes throughout the ring so entire ring is in a conjugation so conjugation is also there very good resonance third criteria sp2 each carbon is sp2 you can check let, let's say if I check on this carbon, so this carbon has uh, three carbon-carbon bonds and one carbon-hydrogen bond. So how many sigma bond it has? One sigma, two sigma and three sigma. Three sigma means sp2. You don't have to check on this. By default, you can consider each carbon will be sp2. So it fulfills this criteria also. Now we need to say, see how many pi electrons are there. So you can see at any point of time, there is only six pi electron. So number of pi electron is six. That means it fits into the formula of 4n plus 2. So that is why hence it is a aromatic. So answer is this, this first example phenol is aromatic. They are very stable. Now second example we can check here. It also fulfills the first three criteria. It is cyclic. There is a very good conjugation. You can see here pi sigma pi or pi sigma pi. So entire thing is in conjugation. Cyclic it is, sp2 it is. But the number of pi electron if you see there is 1, 2, 3, 4. The number of pi electron is equal to 4 and 4 means it fits into the formula of anti-aromatic and is equal to 4 pi. So you can see it is a anti-aromatic. It is divisible by 4. So it is anti-aromatic. Now third question is very interesting. A lot of students face a difficulty here. There's a bit of error in the question. I'll just rectify this. So yeah, there's a double bond now. So a lot of questions get stuck in the students get stuck in this question. What it is, first of all, you see there is a very good conjugation, okay? There is a pi sigma pi, pi sigma lone pair. So entire ring has a conjugation. So it is cyclic, it is having a conjugation, it is sp2 hybridized, but the question arises, what is the number of pi electron? So a lot of students get stuck here, they consider the number of pi electron is 4, which is not true. Now understand, the lone pair which is also involved in resonance is considered as a pi electron. So take a note of this, lone pair, 
which is involved in resonance is also considered as pi electron. So that is why the number of pi electron and you don't have to consider all the lone pair. It has two two lone pair oxygen. Only one pair is involved in resonance. So that is why we will consider only one pair. So the lone pair which is involved in resonance is also considered as pi electron. So the number of pi electron is not four, but it is six. So pi electron is six. It means it is aromatic. So it also fits into this formula 4n plus 2. It is aromatic. This is also aromatic. Now, if you look at this question, in this question, you can see there is a conjugation. It is cyclic. It is sp2. But if you see in this case, pi sigma plus. Okay. So the pi electron plus will shift here and the pi electron will shift there. But after that, the remaining resonance here, the resonance is not there. So the resonance is incomplete. There is no complete conjugation. Either to have an aromatic structure or an anti-aromatic, the entire ring should be in conjugation. But here, the conjugation is incomplete. Hence, it cannot be aromatic. It can't be anti-aromatic. That is why the answer is non-aromatic. Anything which is not aromatic or anti-aromatic, it becomes non-aromatic. So hence, due to conjugation is incomplete, Conjugation is incomplete. That is why it is non-aromatic. So it is non-aromatic. Now I'm going to give you one question. So in this question, it's a previous year exam, entrance exam questions. Uh, the question is asking the aromatic compound among the following is. So this question has came in the bit set examination. If you're targeting for bit set, also for NEET, this topic is very, very important and for CET. So the question is asking the aromatic compound and the following is so you have to drop the answer below in the comment box. I'll be waiting for your answer and don't forget to share with your friends who may need it and keep following Chakri Science Academy. Chakri Science Academy is with you to help you is the exams. So bye bye for now.